moments and moment generating functions. Okay, so the, the kth moment of the random variable x about point A is defined to be this. Okay, it's the expected value of x minus A raised to the kth power. Notice that it sort of measures the average, sort of measures the average um, deviation from this point A. Uh, but the, where that deviation is raised to the kth power. So, for example, here, we can see that the, the first moment of x about 0 is the mean. The first moment of x about the point 0 is the mean. Okay? That is... I just put in zero there, raise it to the first power, take the expected value. That's just the expected value of x. Also, the second moment, second moment of x about its mean is expected value of, let's see, take x minus the mean of x. Square that. Hey, that's just the variance, right? That's how we define the variance of x. So, um, at this point, you might, you might notice, if you haven't already, the variance of a random variable is actually very closely related to the concept of moment of inertia of a physical object. Uh, you can look up that formula for the moment of inertia in general. You can find it on Wikipedia or in a physics book, but it's essentially um, it's essentially the same, except uh, except that we aren't uh, accounting for all the mass units. Um, okay, so there, there there are no you know there, there are no units of uh, mass associated with with this calculation. But it sort of measures the the variance measures the sort of distance that a random variable is from from its mean in a certain sense. Okay. All right. So by kth moment, if we just say kth moment and we don't say kth moment about a point, if we just say kth moment, what we mean is we actually, that's just short for saying kth moment about zero. Okay. Kth moment about zero. Uh, so for example, if we write this then this is the second moment of x. This is the second moment. All right. Then the variance of x is its second moment minus the square of its first, right? We know that. That's, the, that's what the inside-outside formula tells us. It says that the variance the variance of x is its second moment minus the square of its first moment. Second moment minus the square of its first. Okay. There. Now, let's, uh, here's a fun fact for you. You should try to prove this. I bet you can do it. It's kind of neat. Fun fact. The expected value of x minus a quantity squared, if I take the second moment, if I take the second moment of x, of the random variable x uh, about the point a, this quantity is minimized when a equals the expected value of x. You can prove that. You can do it. I know you can. Give it a shot. <clears throat> Here's a related fun fact. This one is, um, this one I bet you can also prove. The quantity, the expected value of x minus a squared, I'm sorry, just x minus a, an absolute value, like that, no squaring there, just absolute value. 
this guy is minimized when guess what a equals da, 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 the median or 50th percentile of X okay I mean you could try to prove that um, one more related fun fact for any distribution for any distribution for any random variable the expected value of X minus the median of X is always within a standard deviation that's not so easy to prove but it's a fun fact.